A red supergiant has finally begun its dramatic end, and the world of astronomy is watching with intense telescope focus. For years, astronomers predicted this, and now the moment has arrived. The James Webb Telescope, with its cutting-edge infrared vision, has caught the very second that Betelgeuse, one of the most mysterious stars in the sky, started to explode. This is no regular space event. It's the closest supernova that humanity has ever observed. Located in the shoulder of the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse is not a typical star. It's more than 700 times larger than our Sun and has 20 times more mass. Over decades, its light dimmed and pulsed, making scientists think its end was near. In 2019, the star suddenly darkened, sparking global speculation about whether the supernova had begun. But it wasn't until now, with Webb's lenses, that true signs of collapse started to become clear. The star is showing real energy bursts, shifting surface bubbles, and wild magnetic fields. This isn't just another deep space observation. It's a detailed look at a cosmic death, happening just 642 light years from Earth. The Webb telescope has been observing it for months, detecting bubbles the size of Jupiter, and plumes of gas flying through space at insane speeds. Inside the light spectrum, scientists found a shockwave traveling through the outer layers of the star. This is the first time in history we've seen a star's physics as it tears itself apart, not a simulation, but real, unfolding astronomy. Because Betelgeuse is so near in space terms, this explosion could eventually shine so brightly that it becomes visible in the DAYTIME, even brighter than the moon. But the real treasure is its closeness, which lets us study how stars die, how they create carbon and oxygen, and how waves from the detonation change the space around it. We are seeing how the elements that built Earth are formed in cosmic furnaces. The Webb Telescope has allowed us to look back into our cosmic ancestry, seeing how the universe gives birth to life. This is a glimpse into the cycle of creation, not just destruction. With this data, scientists are now able to create detailed models of how stars evolve and end. It's helping them learn what signs to look for before future stars go supernova. This means we may one day predict when a stellar death is about to happen. But the explosion didn't just produce light. It sent out ripples, disturbing the interstellar medium. High-energy particles are now moving outward, heating gas clouds, and reshaping dust structures in space. Even more incredibly, there may be gravitational waves created from the core collapse. If these waves are confirmed, this would be the first time we've linked a visible supernova with gravity data, a massive leap for physics. It means that light, matter, and space-time all interact in ways we're only beginning to understand. As Betelgeuse falls inward, scientists are debating what will be left behind. Will it be a neutron star, a black hole, or something entirely new? Data shows that its collapse may not be even. There are signs of magnetic chaos, plasma gaps, and material falling back inward instead of escaping. Some researchers now believe we may be seeing a transition object, something between a neutron star and black hole, never seen before. If this is true, then the James Webb Telescope has captured the birth of an entirely new cosmic entity. People ask, are we in danger from this explosion? The short answer is no. At 642 light years, it's not close enough to hurt Earth. But the long answer is complex. The radiation, gamma rays, and electromagnetic pulses might shift how we see light from other stars. Scientists are now tracking how this radiation spreads. Even though we're not at risk, the blast could change the way we observe the universe from Earth. It's a reminder that the cosmic landscape is always changing. Betelgeuse is old, massive, and now in its final ACT. But its death is not just an end. It's a mirror of the cycle all stars must follow. From its ashes, new stars and planets may rise. This is cosmic renewal, and we are here to witness it. In the vast data web collected, scientists also found something unexpected, rare elements like technetium and yttrium, never formed under normal conditions. These elements can only be created in extreme stellar environments. Why does this matter? Because these elements help trace the journey of matter from dying stars to the planets, and even into the atoms in our bodies. 
The explosion of Betelgeuse is like a chemical map of the universe's life cycle. Betelgeuse will never shine again. Its place in Orion will become a glowing cloud of gas and ashes. But its ending is a treasure, a gift of knowledge, perspective, and elements. It reminds us that even our own sun will one day fade. Without supernovas, there would be no planets, no oceans, and no life. Thanks to the Webb telescope, we now see the full cycle, from fire to formation, from death to creation. In the cold, quiet darkness of space, 642 light years from Earth, a star ended its life in a final, stunning roar. And we didn't just watch, we understood it. This was no myth, no legend. It was real, measurable, and part of our story. Betelgeuse gave us answers to ancient questions, where do we come from? How do stars live and die? What fate awaits our own sun? In that dim red glow, Webb saw more than a supernova, it saw our beginning and a preview of our destiny. The universe is still full of secrets, and now we know how to look for them. So tell us, was this the greatest stellar event ever witnessed? What will the next secret be that Webb uncovers? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.